Well, next, a story of a Middle Tennessee lady who faced a familiar problem. The kids had all left the nest, and here was this big, beautiful, historic home that's almost empty. Well, Margaret Walker's solution was to share it with visitors. Here's Teresa Bush at what's now known as the Magnolia House of Clarksville. Yeah, we bought the house in 1976 and the grandson of the original builder built the addition. The Welker family kept their Madison Street home all to themselves from 1975 until 2005. Margaret and her late husband, Paul, raised their three children in the Georgian style home. So when they left to begin their own careers, Margaret began thinking about a new adventure. So have you stayed at a lot of bed and breakfasts? she decided it was time to share her home with others who wanted to feel exactly like they were at home when they weren't. After my husband passed away and my children are all gone, I was here all alone. It's quite a bit of house for one person. People have uh, talked to me over the years how much they, uh, they love the house, they would like to see the house. So I think I really did want to share it and plus by having the bed and breakfast, it would allow me to stay here and not be lonely, basically. I have company all the time and I enjoy it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret has been running her own court reporting business since the 70s. And even with all that business experience, she still sought advice from other bed and breakfast owners. She says those talks helped ease a lot of her fears and she soaked in as much knowledge as she could, and she has not been disappointed. It's much more than I expected. It's done well, the business has increased. I've had people from uh, Taiwan, New Zealand, Britain, all over the United States. Local tobacco businessman Kendrick Rudolph and his wife Florence built the home during World War II. It took about three years to complete the 3,000 square foot structure. The lumber came from the family's farm just outside Clarksville. Each piece was cured in a barn for nearly 20 years. After Mr. Rudolph passed away, his wife sold the house to Dr. Frank Wilson. That was in 1970. And then five years later, the Welkers moved in. This house is so well built. It has a crown molding and the stained woodwork all around the doors. We've had to do very little. The family before us put in the central heat and air. All the windows are original. The, the hardwood floor is original. The stairway is uh, very unique. It has a wrought iron curved stairway going up. There are a couple of really neat things inside this house that you just don't see anymore. One of them is this teeny tiny phone booth between the foyer and the dining room. And of course, Margaret has it perfectly decorated with a replica of a phone from the 1930s. And there's a butler's area in the dining room. It's topped off with a carved piece of wood in the shape of a shell. In 1992, the Welkers expanded the kitchen and added a well-lit sitting area, more than 1,200 more square feet. Margaret didn't just hire anybody to take on this task. She chose a family who also had a past with the house. We hired the Welch family, which was the same family that initially built the house. So the, the grandson of the man that built the house, uh, David Welch, he came and put our addition on. And so he was very proud of that. And as he was doing uh, construction, tearing out the kitchen and so forth, he actually found a board that his grandfather had signed and dated. And so they uh, took that home with them. The Magnolia House has two suites. They both consist of a living room, sitting room area, and the bedroom. Uh, the Palm Suite is downstairs. It has a king-size bed. It's basically more like a small apartment. It has a kitchenette, bathroom, quite a large living room. The upstairs suite is called the Churchill. Again, it's uh, two rooms, a living room and a bedroom. It has a queen-size bed. They're completely different as far as their feel and decorations. The, the, the Churchill suite is very traditional 
and the Palm Suite is a little more modern and very, kind of romantic. Guests don't have to stay in their rooms all the time. In fact, they're encouraged to relax and enjoy every room in the house, even venture outside to the patio. Margaret says her house is your house when you're one of her guests. Would you like coffee or tea? I try to make it, uh, I always say a Cracker Barrel breakfast because everything. I think everybody enjoys going there and they and like the food. I try not to get too exotic because I have all kinds of guests that come through here and I want to please them. And I feel like if I serve something a little bit off the wall then they might not enjoy it. Margaret says she'll cater to your every need when you visit Magnolia House Bed and Breakfast Inn, and she'll make sure you won't forget your visit. Oh, that's darling. Because she never will.